Hello everyone, so this is a quick video. I'm gonna show you how you can use your existing ESP32 or any other ESP or Arduino boards as uh, the URT to USB adapter. Okay, so I have this router. Uh, this is from a Chinese brand. So uh, this router firmware is based on OpenWRT and uh, the hardware is very capable. So uh, but the stock firmware is not that good so i was trying to install uh, open wrt based uh, custom firmware on this so for this reason uh, the thing is that the router does not support uh, ssh access which uh, i'll need to uh, do for um, installing open wrt in it but it has uh, these urt pins and uh, that you can use uh, to access the U-Boot uh, serial console and uh, the thing is that I did not have any kind of uh, URT to USB adapter as you can see on the screen um, these type of adapters are very cheap but I don't have this right now but I have this ESP32 uh, dev module uh, which I'm gonna use uh, for bypassing the URT to USB bridge. So this kind of ESP chips, uh, these uh, cannot directly communicate with the uh, computer's USB. So that's why uh, it has already built in the URT to USB chip, uh, which is CH340 in this case. But you can use any other uh, chip also. So what we are gonna do, we will use that chip to uh, bypass from the ESP32 and then use this uh, to communicate uh, uh, to and from our router and the computer okay in that case what I have had to do is I had to uh, solder uh, some pins uh, on the router's URT pins so right now I have glued it up so you cannot see how the pin looked like but uh, here in the uh, picture you can see how it looked like before so there are four uh, pins actually or four ports uh, one is VCC which is not required and then ground and then TX and RX so we will use TX RX and ground okay so in that case here uh, I have found the schematics uh, the first one is uh, the VCC and then the ground and then rx and then tx here the yellow uh, cable is the rx and blue is the tx okay so i have soldered this up and there also ground but i have not soldered the ground in here because uh, it is a bit risky to solder it here because the space is limited and i'm not that good at soldering and i don't have a good soldering i don't that's why to be safe I have grounded up it in something like that so you can use any common grounds in your router so these uh, screw holes as you can see these are also uh, grounded so you can check with the continuity uh, with your uh, multimeter and then uh, I have grounded up in in here so this is my ground and then after that I have added some uh, female header pins uh, in here so that I can use it on my ESP32 so to make the ESP32 ready, what we have to do is we have to write a firmware to bypass this, okay? So uh, there is another option. I mean, that is a dirty option, uh, but I, I did not, uh, I was not able to make that work because uh, I don't know why that was not working because previously what I tried, actually, uh, I uh, shorted the ground and then, uh, the reset buttons uh, to bypass the default TX and RX pins as you can see here uh, the TX and RX pins uh, right beside uh, the D21 the RX and TX0 these are default ESP32 RX and TX but this did not work so uh, I'm using another pins to bypass and that's why we have to define it in the code that these pins will be used as a uh, a TX and RX to communicate with our router okay so that's why we have to go to the uh, Arduino uh, ID and then write this code you you have to define the router board rate which is uh, mostly uh, 115200 
and then uh, we are using GPIO 16 as Rx and GPIO 17 as Tx okay so you have to write this code you can take a screenshot and then uh, write this code I'm gonna try to uh, include this in my video description okay so after that you have to flash it on your ESP32 dev modules okay and then I have already done uh, flushing it in now I'm gonna wear it up so what I have to do is I have to connect the ground uh, to any of the grounds in here so I'll connect it to this GND okay and then I have to connect the RX which is the yellow and white pin these I will connect with uh, GPIO 16 and the TX which is uh, the blue uh, I will connect it with the D17 okay so let's connect this up okay I have uh, connected this as you can see so D16 is my RX D17 is my TX as per the code you can also use any other pins and uh, the ground is on the ground so I have connected it now uh, I'm gonna take a USB cable and then connect it uh, to my laptop my router is right now turned off as you can see uh, and we have not connected any voltage pins in here so uh, be cautious about that you don't need to do that okay so I'm gonna tie this up uh, with my router using a USB cable use a good quality USB cable okay now it is connected so if you don't uh, know which one is TX and which one is RX you can uh, just swap them and then see if that works okay so I'm gonna go to uh, putty on my uh, laptop okay so this is the putty uh, here in the putty configuration you have to type in uh, you have to select the serial and then you have to get the com port and then uh, the uh, speed or baud rate okay so uh, our baud rate is 115200 and we don't know which com port we are in so we are going to the device manager of windows and here in the ports and com port you can see it's uh, the ch340 is our uh, in our com5 okay so what we are gonna do is uh, we are gonna type in com5 in here okay com5 and then we are gonna open this up okay so as you can see there are some uh, garbage numbers coming up because our router is not yet turned on and these garbage are from the uh, esp32 so uh, we have to turn on the router to check if we can communicate with this okay so uh, i have my router power cable already in but the switch is turned off so i'm gonna turn on the switch okay here as you can see the motor router is light up and voila we have entered the u-boot so we can see all the telemetries and information okay so boot menu and other options are coming up okay so that's it for the video so we have successfully used our uh, esp32 chip as our diy urt2 usb bridge okay thank you so much